All righty. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, September 29th, I believe that's the date, 2024. And the time is 5.30 a.m. I was going to leave earlier, but uh, didn't make it out. I had to get all my heated gear on because I'm going to be going through some temperatures that are near freezing this morning. Um, Lake George currently is at 33 degrees. And uh, so... Yeah, it takes a little while to get all that stuff put on and wired up, all that neat stuff. Uh, here at Woodland Park, it's uh, 45 degrees. And today, I'm going to be doing my annual trip to Crested Butte to view the beautiful fall colors. Uh, I think it's at peak now, or it was, uh, well, they called it near peak on the 26th so we should be at peak or I may actually be a little late already but um, <clears throat> I didn't make it out yesterday and the weather today is supposed to be fantastic it's supposed to be like uh, like 1% chance of rain and uh, the high today uh, is supposed to be like 70 so it should be a beautiful day after it warms up and so right now I'm just going to be going eastbound on Highway 24 all the way through Buena Vista where I'll probably do my traditional stop at, um, oh, what's the name of that place? Something Dog uh, Coffee Shop. Get a quick cup of coffee and then go up to Cottonwood Pass. Uh, the sun should be rising around the time I stop at the coffee shop. And the reason why I'm doing this early is because yesterday when I went from Colorado Springs, um, I did a breakfast with a, a ham club, ham radio club uh, down in the Springs. And uh, on the way back, there was like like a three mile backup in the Woodland Park because everybody is heading out to see the colors from the Colorado Springs and elsewhere. So by leaving early, I beat the traffic. I could get to Crested Butte before everyone else gets there and then I will be returning before everyone else returns and avoid that traffic. So that's the smart approach to viewing the colors here in Colorado. All right, so I'll be back uh, probably when there's some sunlight in Buena Past, uh, or, sorry, Buena Vista era territory, all right? Okay, I just finished up my cup of coffee at Brown Dog Coffee in Buena Vista. Uh, sun is starting to come up. Oh boy, I can see some colors already. Nice little coffee place. I usually stop there every time just to take a break. Oh, looks like we got a couple of bucks here or something in the middle of the road. So, let them cross the street here. That's pretty crazy. Hey, it's starting to warm up a little bit. We're at uh, 50 degrees now. I guess I'll be shedding my stuff here after Cottonwood Pass. But yeah, it was a little chill. It got down to 34 degrees when I went through Lake George. I don't understand why Lake George is always the coldest. And then when I got to um, Wilkerson's Pass, it was like uh, it was like 37 degrees and that's higher elevation. So I don't understand that. Maybe somebody can explain it to me someday. <clears throat> um, very, very interesting. Yep, so the sun, sun started to come up just as I was finishing my coffee and now it's really starting to brighten up. So good timing. Avoiding all the traffic. Got an early start. I won't have to deal with all the mass number of people that will be heading out today. Yesterday was unbelievable. And uh, so as you can see there, the aspens are definitely starting to turn. Um, Based on what I'm seeing here, we should see some pretty good colors later, later on today.
This is a cool little town. There's a uh, hot spring up ahead also. Cottonwood Hot Springs. My friend Ben keeps talking about it, says it's a really cool place to warm up your bones. What a beautiful day this is going to be. I can see it already. Nice blue skies. A little bit of clouds here and there, but they'll burn away. <clears throat> Time now is 7.28 a.m. Yeah, perfect time to get going up this mountain. There is a an old drive through movie theater somewhere here. Or driving, I meant. I guess it's coming up. Old school, man. It's kind of cool to still see some of those, you know, hanging out. Hanging around. I think nowadays everything's wireless, though. You tune to an FM signal for the audio. And, oh, there it is. I see the, the screen up ahead. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. Perfect angle, too, for this, you know, when the sun shines at an angle, you get some nice colors, too. So this is going to be great. Well, it says thank you, so maybe they're out of business. Here is the hot spring. Oh, there's people camping here. That's cool. Recording. Okay, top of the Cottonwood Pass. My battery died on the helmet. Sadly, I don't know why. I just put a new battery in it, but it was also very cold when I was charging it. So, Cottonwood Pass, and I'm going to go on down the hill now. I got the cable plugged in to charge as I'm riding, so hopefully we'll keep this going. What a beautiful morning. Saw some amazing colors on the way up too. It's uh, 41 degrees. This is going to start warming up now, so I took off the heated gloves. Recording. Coming up to a dam here on the right.
Recording. Might be cows ahead. She's flashing lights or is a cop. I'm not sure which. But let's see. It's been a few years since I've seen the cows here. Yeah, there they are. I think I see them. I flash the high beams at those cars to warn them about the cows. That's the thing to do. There's more cows. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Recording. Okay, uh, on the way to Ohio Pass, and the colors are just amazing here, as always. Never disappoint. Starting to warm up a little bit. We're at 54 degrees. This will be turning into a dirt road eventually. Recording. Okay, so we're heading northbound on County Road 730 and this is the beginning of the 
both scenic colors in Colorado in my opinion and I'll try to keep it rolling the entire time so you can enjoy the beauty Get a picture of that real quick. Oh, no, I can't do that. Absolutely beautiful. This bike's going to be dirty by the end of the day. Not a great shot right here. Uh, maybe further up. A lot of the aspens have already dropped their leaves. Those canopies are just amazing. Yeah, I would say we're definitely in the peak. A lot of leaves already have fallen.
Oh yeah. Oh, this is probably the best I've ever seen, this corner here. Might be the angle of the sun, too, making a difference. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Holy smoke, that's beautiful. Amazing. Oh, this is great. Wow. I'm going to make sure I'm still rolling here. Recording. Okay. Still rolling, so that's good. Yeah, this is a really good year. Good time. Last year wasn't this good. Oh, another good shot right here. Getting the blue in the background is just amazing. Look at that. That's golden right there.
Oh, a lot of leaves left here already. Ah, this is beautiful right here too. Look at this, oh. I think we're just uh, less than a mile from Ohio Pass. No money shot. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is a good shot right here. I'm so glad I came early. Traffic is not bad at all. It will be in an hour or two, I guarantee it.
road's a little rough though. I think we're coming around the last couple bends here. Oh. Yep, there it is. Money shot coming up. Oh yeah. Recording. All right, just leaving Ohio Pass. What an amazing shot. I think, I think this may have been the best yet ever. So timing is everything. Came at the right time. I mean, just look, absolutely just incredible views. Oops, got some bad pits in here. Got to watch the road. Got some bad potholes here. And you can't see them very well when the shade covers them up. Yeah, this is usually the worst part of the road. So I got about two miles of this to do. Two or three. <clears throat> Boy, this is really bad. All right, I'm gonna stop rolling this section because uh, I wanna kinda preserve the memory card for some other stuff later. Hope you enjoyed this segment of Ohio Pass. Okay, folks, well, I, I didn't uh, manage my fuel properly, and so I did not uh, go back via Cottonwood Pass. I had to go to Gunnison to get gas because I don't think I was going to make it to Vienna Vista. So, my mistake, but so I decided, what the heck, I'll just take a different route back. It's a much longer way back, but very scenic, um, Highway 50 um, along the river here. You can see the railroad track there too, maybe, in the background. That goes under the Royal Gorge Bridge. And uh, I'm going to take this all the way to Highway 9 and then come up through Cripple Creek. So, yeah, an extra hour, but hey, it's all about the ride. And the only downside to this 
it is hot. It's now, what is it? 86 degrees. So it is hot. And 10 miles. Turn left onto State Highway 9. That's the only complaint I have. But in due time, when I make that left turn in 10 miles, uh, I'll start to climb elevation again, and I'll be back in the 70s again. A lot of traffic going back. I'm probably going to encounter quite a bit of it as well in Cripple Creek. Recording. Well, this is what happens. <laughs> it's uh, everyone coming back. In about nine and a half miles, turn left onto Paradise Circle. So I'm like about two miles from Divide, and it's backed up forever. It's backed up all the way to Florissant. And it went about two miles an hour. So that's what happens when everybody in Colorado Springs wants to see the colors. I did come back a little bit later than I wanted to, but I also took a different route back, took more time. It's not too bad. We're moving, you know, now we're doing about 10 miles an hour, so no big deal. We'll get there. <laughs> 